This is for Algebra 2. This is homework problem number 1-73 that was asked for. In this problem, you are to look at uh, different uh, circles with different radius and look at their areas and see connections. And It's the idea of that multiple representations, that we're to be looking at the equations and tab the table equations as well as the graph. So, first of all, I'm going to start off by making a table. And you'll notice that my input is r, the radius, and my output would be area, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So we're going to fill in this table of values, and I'm just going to think of some various, a radius of 1, a radius of 2, a radius of 3, and a radius of 4. Radius of four. I mean, you could put a lot more numbers, but I was just looking at those, and we see that we get um, pi r squared each time, and so I've got 1 squared is just 1, so we have 1 pi, then we have 4 pi, then we square the 3 and we get 9 pi, we square the 4 and we get 16 pi. Again, we could do a lot of these, but we don't need to, to do them all out. I'm going to also write the decimal equivalent for them. If I was going to graph this inf information where here I've got my inputs and here I've got my outputs, if I just say 1 and pi, that's kind of a hard thing to, to put on the, on the graph. So I say it's approximately 3.14. I just rounded everything to two decimal places. The next type of uh, representation we can look at is the equation. Well, we've been kind of talking about it, the fact that pi r squared is the area. So I could write this using x's and y's if that makes you feel more like that's an equation. It really doesn't make any difference what letters we use, but I can write y equals pi x squared where x stands for the radius of a circle and y is therefore the area. So that's an equation. And lastly, I can graph this. Now, you'll look at this. I, I did a, a computer graphing of this, but you can all do this yourselves because there is a program called Desmos, which is free. And you can put, get Desmos and download it on your computer or your iPhone or your iPad or any of your devices. This is a, a wonderful program that does graphing. And so I just input this equation right here. I, I typed in pi times x squared and it graphed it. I moved the axes so it was uh, appropriate. We're not interested when the x's are negative because remember the x's are the radius. So I only have positive x's and I actually went to 4. And since I went all the way over to 4, I need to make sure that my y axis went all the way up to uh, uh, you know, around 50 one or a little bit more than 50. So this is the graph and it happens to be part of a parabola.